can be used to develop a, a robot or a remote door. Are you getting me? So this is called a servo motor. Uh, I don't know, maybe you have this in your box. Can you locate it? This is called a humidity sensor. Teaching the kids actually gave me joy. Uh, actually, there are different types of kids. Uh, some of them already have access to computers from their school. Why some did not, some don't even have to handle the mouse. And I'm so glad teaching those kids because I see a bright future in them. And they, they all catch up very easy. They are very, they are very fast learners and I really enjoy teaching most of them. And the excitement when they were um, introduced to Scratch, the software we use, when they were introduced to it, the excitement for making a game, I'm like, yay, auntie, I did this, auntie, I did that. It gave me joy. I'm so glad to be part of this, actually. I'm very, very glad. But the timer is not going to count by itself. We need to reduce it gradually until it is down to zero. So, what, are, what do we do? It's been a very exciting, encouraging and inspiring time uh, here in Abuja, the capital city of Nigeria, uh, with students of uh, secondary schools from other universities um, uh, working with them, uh, exposing them to science. We have students uh, working on robotics, digital electronics, uh, digital printing, and just being giving opportunity to explore what science has to offer. It's been very enriching for me to be back in Nigeria, in the capital city, uh, talking with the students, hearing their questions, and getting them excited about, in particular, in my case, geophysics, earth and planetary science. It is great to be back. We thank the Next Einstein Forum and all the organizations who have put this together. And we want to ensure and make sure that students are continuously inspired about science. Uh, it's been a great time here at the African Science Week.